Hey all friends, welcome to the channel, Bob here, and I hope you're all well, um, or as well as can, can be. Uh, this is Dungeons & Dragons Online again. First of all, I'll start off by saying, I don't, I mean, I'm not sure if anyone who plays EverQuest P99 uh, or watches my channel for those videos will watch this one. Some of you might do, um, and I just wanted to kind of say that I haven't given up on that. <laughs> it uh, kind of comes up now and again when I don't play a game for a while. Uh, there are some games I don't play anymore. For instance, I started, what was it called? Demon something. I can't remember what it was. I did a, a video for a, an MMO and I haven't gone back. Um, yeah, but games like Project Gorgon, EverQuest P99, I haven't quit playing them. I'm just I'm just not playing them at the moment because I'm playing D&D uh, and enjoying it immensely. And uh, yeah, and, and we'll hopefully continue to enjoy it going forward. So... Yeah, DDO, Dungeons and Dragons Online. So this is so this video is going to be an adventure, I would say, but also pointing out some newbie tips. I've got to say that the DDO community is pretty amazing. <laughs> you know, I've come across I come across one person in the game who um, I was running around the, the harbour and they were following me around, jumping up and down. You know. A bit of being a bit of a knob just kept jumping up and down in front of me i don't know why you know i've had that in other games you get those kind of people who when, when you see them running around somewhere they're always jumping i'm not sure if they've just got a survivor's dance in real life and they just can't help pressing things but yeah <laughs> but apart from that the the uh, community has been amazing very helpful the amount of help i've had on people sending me facebook pms on comments on youtube and all that kind of thing um yeah and i'm going to impart some of that wisdom for you if you're a, a new player or if you're an old friend of the channel and you you might want to start playing the game i'm not going to call out people's names who gave me the advice i kind of never like doing that because i'm never sure if people actually like you going you know giving people shout outs i'm 49 i don't do shout outs you know <laughs> it's just unless you really want me to um so the first tip is to do oops is partly to do with um let's have a look the Adventure Compendium, which is an amazing thing. Uh, oops, I stopped shooting Montague Gaudro. I didn't really know much about I knew there was favour in the game where you build up faction. I, I didn't I had no idea um, really how it worked. Uh, and someone pointed out to me that it's worth having a look because when you when you um, when you gain a level of faction, it's worth going to um, the patron of the faction because they will just give you free stuff. And one of the, the good things was the Coin Lord one. So I've done a, quite a lot of quests for the Coin Lords. I'm currently loyal. And um, I'm not sure what faction title you rank you need, but when you get some faction, come and see uh, Montague Goud Row because what happens is you basically get a free bag. A free bag of holding, they called it, which was a nice touch. I enjoyed that. Yeah, so a free bag here. That's the uh, that's my first tip, or the first tip I got from um, from the community. The second one is just the adventure compendium in general. It's just amazing, um, and the most amazing thing about it, I think, is that it tracks all of the quests you've done. Um, now I'm not sure if these. This goes up to level quests up to heroic quests up to level eleven. Heroic means between one and twenty, and then epic is uh, twenty to thirty. Um, I'm not sure if this is all of the quests um, within vanilla. Vanilla. I'm not sure if this is all of the free quests that you start off with um, in the game. Um, it's pretty. It's actually, when I talk about quests, it's probably worth pointing out that um, if you're thinking about playing it, it's it's it, it's free to create an account, so it's worth creating an account. And I, I'm not sure if you that there's a code that you can put in to the store, um, the the uh, store. I had to work out how to do this myself. It's not that hard, really. <laughs> it's just go to redeem code. There's a code on the official website that you type in and. In the future, you will have all of the adventure packs free that you... Oh, stop shooting. Um, yeah, that you used to have to pay for. There, there's still expansions, I think like Ravenloft, for example, that you need to pay for if you want if you want those quests. But 
there's a whole lot of content here just just for free now that you don't have to pay for. Uh, I think also on the store there's a couple of quest packs, um, expansion packs that are going to that are currently priced at ninety nine store dollars, um, and so I'm going to I think I've got like two hundred something, so I'm going to go and um, buy those shortly. Um, yeah, the other thing about patrons is that some patrons will give you free points, so it's worth going to check your mail because you'll get messages about that. So back to the adventure. Um, uh, the adventures adventure list this tells you all the ones you've done and what level you did them at so as you can see I've done most at elite but then we got down to I'm not sure if it was fresh in the air um, yeah I did one on normal there uh, another normal one there I've kind of started to get into that and I've done a few on hard here I've started to get into that realm where I'm struggling with some quests and I'm level 8.5, eight and a half or roughly I, I think. I would have been I would say probably 10 by now but um, not yesterday but the day before I spent the whole day just doing two quests because I was stubbornly saying I'm, I'm going to do them on Elite because that's what I've been doing all the quests on so far and I wasted a whole day <laughs> essentially trying to do two quests. I think I, I think I actually knocked down to hard anyway in the end. Um, yeah, it's just hard, and it's not the it's not the monster encounters that are hard. Like I, I've been fighting challenge rating like fifteen or seventeen or something and killing them. It's just the traps, and I, I will say that at this point, it's a bit much. I do think, you know, not all quests, but there are more and more quests where I'm going in and I'm walking along. Um, my spot is max. I've actually got like some glasses on also that give me like plus eight spot, and I'm running along and trap one hit dead, and that is that is quite frustrating. Now, obviously, you know the argument will be that maybe I shouldn't do them on, on elite, and that's fine. Um, but there doesn't seem to be like any leeway. Like no matter how much spot I put on, like like no matter how much I increase my spot skill. Um, it, it, it won't spot traps um, so, so I do kind of edge along and search because I think my search is still higher than my spot even though I've got a lot of spot um, um, skill point um, pluses um, but even that doesn't work so you know it's fair enough I understand the argument it's the elite it's supposed to be hard maybe these particular quests the vanilla ones when it first came out they wanted you to do them um in a group if you wanted to do them at that level I mean even what I've tried to do like I've done like I'm level 8 so I'll go to a level 6 quest and if you knock it up to elite like this one for example it knocks it up to a level 8 quest um, and I'm level 8 but I think it does a whole lot more than that you know it makes things much harder to spot and search for and uh, yeah just just saving against traps like like um you know even if I use um, um, resist energy and I give myself some energy resistance for fire for example a fire trap will still one shot me so that's quite frustrating um, and I feel in the middle you know I feel that I'm doing it on elite so it should be hard that's fair enough but I think that um, it's a bit much you know particularly there are some some dungeons where there's a trap every god knows you know every 50 yards and it becomes a bit frustrating. But then, you know, I've I've learned my lesson. <laughs> and I've learned to knock the quest down a bit. If, if that has, seems to be the case. But what we're going to do is... So this is great because it shows you quests you haven't done. And it shows you where they are. Um, yeah, so you can go and do the quests. Uh, I've, I was kind of looking for... Um, just some quests that... I don't know. I'm trying to look at look for some quests that might be interesting. Um, so there's one here called Memory Lapse, average difficulty. Okay, kind of a big deal. What will what, what, what I go and so what I've been doing? Some level eight. I'm I've been choosing level six quests, and then I'm knocking them up to elite to see how I get on. So that kind of puts it up to a level eight quest. Um, yeah. So I'm going to do that. I'll choose one of these level level six quests here. We'll go to where it is. Um, so for example. Um, the Iron Mines quests are at House Denif. So if you look at the um, 
if you look at the uh, oh the 12 enclave okay so the, these quests that are the 12 i'm assuming you go to the 12 enclave uh, i've done some quests in um let's have a look come on uh, i've done some quests in the kondorak um, enclave drasco one and that's the Denif one. So we'll go up to the Denif one. There's a couple of quests outside, actually. But I think they're level 8. Um, yeah, we'll go over to House Denif. Or the 12. I'll have a look at these quests and see what seem to be the most interesting. And then I will uh, come back. And we'll talk about the adventures. Hello, friends. Welcome back to the channel. So we've I've found uh, like a what seems to be like a quest chain. I won't do it all here in this video. Just the first um, adventure. If you want to see the rest of it you know um try the game out it's free or let me know and i'll carry on but i will go through this quest chain myself today um and it starts here uh ah so we've got a pirate problem house denif has got a pirate problem uh are plundering ships before they reach Stormreach. wipe the bargain bizarre off the map Okay, I'll do it. Where is the Bargain Bazaar? The Bargain Bazaar on, on the south side of the Searing Heights. <laughs> the Bargain Bazaar is about to have a going out of business sale. <laughs> I love some of the comments as well. Like I had a. I was fighting some human dude, um, some human bandits. And as one of them died, it said, I wish I'd listened to my mum and become a cleric, <laughs> which I thought was uh, was pretty funny. So we're going to go and do this quest. I think it's a bit lower level than me, so we can we can ratchet it up to um, we can ratchet it up to uh, elite, I think. So it wants me to go to. Well, I'll find out where we're going, then I'll come back. Hello guys, welcome back. So we're about to go into the Searin Heights, which looks like an open area. And I haven't been here before, so I thought we could experience it together. So the, the actual area itself is is like just a normal level. So let's go in and have a look. I also unlocked the Drow, which uh, like further on down the line when I'm maybe finishing up my character. Um, I think I'd quite like to... Um, have like some sort of drow car I, I, I think ultimately at the end for my ultimate character would be like a wizard of some kind um yeah but we'll that's the fun like working towards that so oh hello so so far for me quests have been most of the quests have been you find yourself a um a grail symbol gold grass even on a map um you talk to that person and generally the entrance to the quest is right next to them but then you get these quest chains and some of them involve coming out into an open area so this is actually an open area that you can explore um i don't know it, it seems fairly big and this is as i said in the previous video this is for me this is where the game starts to feel a bit more like um uh i'll buff myself up here i think i probably can this is where the game starts to feel a bit more like dragon age and uh, yeah, and I like it a lot. I, I, it's uh, it really breaks things up to have these explorable areas, and you get lots of kind of like um, you know environmental storytelling and that kind of thing. On the map here, it's telling us to go this way, so we will. This is a this is a just a normal area, so I should. Oh hello. So I should be able to just pretty much wipe out everything that we come across. Uh, th these these areas will have like um, achievements as well. So, rare encounters, um, killing mobs, and these will go up. You kill 10, you get some XP, then it will go up to 20 and 50 and whatever. And exploring the area also, you know, you get some uh, some XP for it as well. So, you get like incentive. What I like about the game is it in incentivizes you to do stuff. So, even while you're just running around killing mobs, it's rewarding you for it. And I, and I like that. I like that. You know, running past a group of mobs, it's, it's worth, even though I don't get anything for it from a from a from an equipment point of view, if it's worth me, worth, worth me fighting them. I think we'll see if we can get up here. It's worth me fighting them because I, 
kind of ultimately get something for it in the long run. <laughs> Not sure if this was the right place to come, but as I said, I do like exploring. I do have quite a high jump, and I've got some equipment on with jump, but I can't reach that, so yeah, we'll just have to uh, leave that section. So yeah, so the quest has been split up into, can you go into my, what's that, a sign, signpost? Yeah, can you go into my cellar and kill the necromancer who's bothering my, my cellar? <laughs> or you get like longer quest chains that are, I've really enjoyed. Um, these little skulkers sneak around quite a bit. Um, yeah, and then you get these open areas that have got quests in them. What I probably should have done is check to see if there are any other quests in this area. I should have looked up the Searing Heights first if I was, you know a bit more prepared but I didn't do that so yeah we'll just do this quest but I think I'll kind of pause here and then come back when we're actually at the quest because I don't think if I come across anything different here I will let you know as you just saw there I've got some experience for just killing killing some mobs for an achievement Hello guys, welcome back. So we're, we're approaching um, our quest section and yeah, this is, I love the, do love the environments, you know, it's obviously graphics are dated, but I do like the, what they've done. It, 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 it does, there's a little tower on the hill over there, which I'll go and explore at some point. Uh, maybe it's nothing, but it's worth having a look. But yeah, but the environments are great and I think this will be my um, screenshot for the video it's thumbnail, I think, probably. But there is a fight going on. <laughs> which my dudes have handled perfectly well so that uh let's get around to the uh to our adventure yeah and, and, and dotted around these areas you will find place you know there, there will be these places where an adventure takes place uh, some people might find it a bit too basic in a sense it's go here do this kind of you know um but that's kind of what D, &D is all about really you know D, &D the tabletop game it wasn't really open world you know i guess if you had a, a dm who was willing to go along with that kind of thing maybe hello the bargain bazaar so we can do all oh, we can do elite level nine Eek. let's stick to level eight and see how we get on yeah i mean maybe if you had a dm who was so inclined you could explore but you know i mean it was mostly about things being split up into adventures you know you, you meet in an inn you go off and kill the dragon or the vampire and uh like into the okay can we talk to these dudes okay so here we go we're going into the bargain bazaar who's this dude Oh, you do get magical items from um, <laughs> from just from things as well. Oh, I'm afraid you're well outmatched there. Close for you, okay. You do get like as I said, like some people might find it a bit simplistic, where you go to a don't you go to a zone, and that's where the quest is. But that's kind of what D and D was essentially, with some some world travel that. Uh, that you can do. Can I jump over here? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can sneak in. No, I can't. Um, dum -dum -dum. How do we get in? Ah. Aha! <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> that was unexpected. Make sure you put your pet on aggro. Your pet's on aggro because otherwise they'll just follow you around while things are hitting you and yeah okay i like this i like this i mean i haven't done a quest like this before outside with this sort of environment so that's quite exciting i'm glad i, glad I found this one i think it's part of a quest chain as well so because there are humanoids around i'm not expecting there to be too many traps one thing i have noticed and I, another little tip that i've that I discovered um, is that if if you're in a dungeon and you're standing here with your dudes, um, 
and you think there might be a trap here what you can do is that you can get your, your pet to do things so you might not you might not do anything here no but some if there's like a lever to pull for example at the end of the corridor you can your pet will go and do that for you um so yeah so that's a way of checking if there's a trap that's that it's a little little cheat and your pet takes the hit <laughs> it's better than you dying than having to revive or reset or whatever so look at this this is pretty awesome my dog will go running off now and get killed probably but um Paging Mr. Gan. Paging Mr. That Gan. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if he's just called. Let's, let's sneak around the side. Even though sneaking now is pretty pointless. Yeah, so so sending your pets in to activate levers if you feel there might be a trap along the corridor is is a thing to do. Um, like, I guess it only kind of... I mean, there are some classes that get pets as well. You know, so like Druids get pets. Ooh. Some sort of AOE spell there. Um, like my artif artificer pet for example he will go and break barrels um, so he normally goes off there's a skill that says he, that lets him just go running off blowing up barrels basically so he can also be used as a bit of a um, okay what have we got here okay we've got him there's a gem on there's a uh, probably can't unlock it. Nope. Another magic bow there. Jesus, keep picking up magic bows. Is it, is it a magic bow? I've got no idea. And a gem. So there's a... Um, there's a gem on the floor there, which means that normally we need to move a lever to open that. So let's go in the front. I'm assuming these are just people, customers buying stuff from the pirates, I guess. Uh Oh my god, there's like a little community here. Barmaids, magic mouths, bar patrons. Oh, hang on. There's a fight. <laughs> I, I have to say, I haven't... Oh, are they people fighting them? Some people, some of the some of the mobs have titles like that one was pandemonium. I'm not sure if that means that he's just got particular skills. Um, let's have a look up here. Yeah, so he's he's a particular type of mob, so he's got different skills or different abilities or whatever. But that's something that's quite interesting as well. This is a great. This is a great quest. Um, I wonder if you come back here. Considering all of this was designed just for this quest, I think maybe. Maybe there's other quests here. I'm not sure. Um, let's clear these dudes. So they haven't got the high ground. Okay. Hello. Okay, so we've cleared the tide of dealing with difficult people. The assassination bureau can help. <laughs> so we've cleared. Hello, what's this up here? Oh, that's another one of those. Look, there we go. Um, let's check. Just check to make sure we didn't miss anything around here, apart from another longbow, which we won't pick up. Oh, spellcasters. Traps and spellcasters. Um, they need to go ASAP. As they say in the forces. Um, yeah, you just need to get rid of those quickly. Because, again, I think I guess it's to do with your saving checks and stuff. But um, spellcasters will kill you quickly as well. So another gem on the floor there. So that looks like we've got to... This is an amazing adventure. Oh, hello. Sorry, tower. I'm not sure if I'm picking the right pet. I just like to pick a pet that, that goes in melee and does damage and stuff. Plus also, if I can find a construct one, it means I can heal them, which is uh, which is pretty good. Let's have a little rest here. So this quest chain, I found this quest chain by finding a quest and, it, and I looked on the wiki, which is brilliant. 
just type in an NPC's name if you find an NPC of a quest and it tells you what the quest is oh hello I don't know why I ran towards him there I'm not a tank Nakar Bright Edge oh damn I'm stunned stunned Whew, okay Okay. Whew, we killed a killed a boss. No trap so far. Okay. Uh, magic items you get loads of them, um, and I I I try to I keep hold of ones that I think might be useful where I've encountered something. And more more points into a skill or a particular damage type might have helped. I thought there might have been a um, maybe I missed it, but I thought there might have been a lever here to open one of the other gates with breakable stalls. Why are the stalls breakable? Particularly, not sure. Ah, okay. No nope, dead end. Okie dokie. So we've got two. Let's have a look down in the market. We've got two locations that require. It appears as though they can only be opened. Um, I know I should be checking barrels and stuff, but. There's two doors that appear to be opened with. Um, with levers. Well, that's how it appears to me anyway. Maybe I'm making a mistake. But we will have a little look around. I like the way there's that little community here. Domric Null, bar patron. The service here was terrible. <laughs> a few stray arrows and the place practically shuts down. <laughs> um, let's go up here again. See if we can find our way forward. Oh, hello. Yeah. Ah, here we go. There's a lever. Oh, no. That's one that I just shot for the purpose of that gate. Um, okay. Let's have a, bit, have a little look around here again where there is a gate. Normally, when you get these symbols on the floor... Um, oh, I'm, I can unlock it with my unlock skill. Okay. I didn't realise that. What a noob. Cool, there we go. Normally when you get a symbol on the floor you need a you need to use a lever. Oh sorry, valued customer. A lovely purple shirt. Uh, robe. Your pet will find himself in trouble. Um, the artificer. Oh, there's a spellcaster. Get them down as quick as possible. Yeah, your artificer pet will. For, if, if you pick the, um, if you pick the skill, that means that he will go and break chests. Uh, he will get himself in trouble because <laughs> he will go running off ahead and start. Um, now there was a danger spot here, wasn't there? I can't see anything though. Danger is nearby. Hmm, okay. Oh, maybe this is a danger. Normally I play better. And I normally focus on the ranged and casters first. Um, what's the map like here? So we seem to have some more merchants in here. Oh, hello. Hmm, that's interesting. Not sure why I can't shoot that one. Let's um let's head up here. Oh spot danger. Okay. Let's search here. Aha!
sometimes it fails sometimes it will work I think that worked so I guess if I'd have used the lever I would have set off a trap I guess that's what would have happened I did a quest um, yesterday that was narrated by Gary Gygax which was a nice touch there's a memorial for him as well somewhere as well the hell was that okay this is the bazaar then I wonder if this section now these are all customers aren't they oh, so I've got some optional quests as well that I need to do it talks about freeing slaves and stuff yeah so this guy here is called light bearer so I'm gonna assume that he um, just has some different abilities it's like he healed himself there Maybe is he some sort of cleric? Unfortunately, he was too far away <laughs> to really make a difference to the fight. Oh, is that a caster? Yeah, I think so. Let's be sensible. Let's play sensibly. Chucking some melfs at me, wasn't she? Okay. Sometimes you can't hit someone because it goes in because they're too high. But if you jump, it will uh, it will have an impact. Let's uh, just chuck out some healing. So this has been a great little quest. I found this one, and this is, as I said before, this is kind of how the quests mix. You get little quests where some, little, some, some, someone will go say, "Can you go into the? Can you go into the, the cellar and uh, kill the zombies?" And you'd often find out that the cellar somehow is uh, some hugely huge area <laughs> that this person may or may not have known <laughs> they had. Below their uh, below their house, <laughs> it's always quite funny. So I think I can probably. There's another thing up there. I'm assuming I can fall through into this room. Uh, any traps? Let's check. <clears throat> yeah. So as I was saying, I'm not sure if I covered it. I think I covered it in a previous video, but I have found traps to be uh, okay. So we came in here to open the gate to let us out, did we? Uh, potentially. Okay, let's carry on. Ah, oh, look. Almost forgot these. Yeah, I've I found traps and stuff to be a real issue. Um, and I understand that's probably because I'm... I, I had a... I'm not sure if... I, did I talk about it? I think I probably did. About the problem I had with... Uh, stubbornly playing on elite rather than knocking down a difficulty level and I'm sure that I know that's a lot of the problem um, but I did find the traps a bit overwhelming uh, they just seem to be some adventures there's just too many which I guess in the future I'll just avoid those adventures but just just too many traps um, and getting one shotted by them because I guess you know and, and, and also playing on elite even though I've been maxing out my spot and search, I just don't even see them. You know, I don't even if I, if I, I don't spot them. And if I know, if I go back to the dungeon, and I know there's one there, and I search. Um, I don't even I don't even see it. You know, it's uh, quite difficult. Is this one that I've used? Let's use it again. Let's use this one. Yeah. So I understand. Obviously, the argument will be, well, don't play on elite because you're probably not supposed to on your own. Um, yeah, but the, the traps were a bit a bit much for some, in some of the some of the adventures. Just kept me getting one shotted. It's quite frustrating. Um, and some people will talk. Some people have talked about like pay to win. And um, oh hello, that was a mistake. And although um, the store does seem to include some stuff 
like XP bonuses and whatnot that people might regard as pay to win. Um, it's not rammed down your face too much. You know, you don't need to use them. Just play the game along at the... Oh, there's night, night has fallen. That's really nice. Was there another lever down there, did I see? No, a stall. Yeah, just play the game along at your own pace. You don't need to, to buy those things. Um, yeah, you really don't need to. There was another thing that I found where if I... I, came into, I went into a dungeon on Elite and I'd, I'd forgot to buy a, a hireling. Um, and when I went to leave the dungeon again, it said if you leave the dungeon, you may lose XP or something else. Um, and it did say... But what you can do is go to the store and it contains everything there you need for a dungeon. So I was... That was a bit like, hang on a minute. <laughs> so... But you can turn off those... Um, oh, cool. But you can turn off those... Um, you know, th th those uh, alerts that come up. So, you know, just turn them off. I keep forgetting to summon myself some arrows. Okay. Um, employees only. Here we go. Let's do a little surge again. I think this adventure was level 7, wasn't it? So, traps don't seem to be too much of an issue. He says walking into a trap and dying. I think you can. I, th I mean, you can. Oops, hello. You can buy different types of hirelings, you know. So I'm. I imagine you could buy yourself a rogue, and maybe you could get him to search and spot and whatnot. I'm not 100 percent sure, actually. Uh, maybe that's a thing to do if you, if you got done if you got them. But I think after a certain amount of lives, what I imagine. Well, you know, if there's definitely a spot danger here. Okay. Hmm. What are we spotting, or what are we not spotting? Danger is nearby. <laughs> Getting paranoid now. Um. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Okay. So I'm not dead, but if you don't get up. When I get up, if I don't immediately move out of the way of the trap, the trap may kill me. If I revive and the trap is up. Oh! Holy smokes. So, yeah, although I'm playing. So, here's an example. Although I'm playing on the elite level, this is a level 7. Um, was it level 7? I think this is a level 7 adventure. So my my spot kind of worked, but my search hasn't worked. Another little tip I think I mentioned before, if you don't want your your if you don't want your um Ah, oh, Jesus, loads of them. Oh, get my dudes up. There's a sorcerer there somewhere. Kill that first. Oh, nearly dead. Again. Why? Oh, I was poisoned. <sighs> okay. I think I'm going to revive again. Yeah, but that, I must confess, that kind of trap stuff, I do find it a bit much. Um, I think we did come into this on Elite, didn't we? Um, I'm not sure if I can tell. But I'm sure it was a level 7 quest. So it's a bit under, a bit under my level. It just seems a bit extreme to get one shotted. Um, yeah, but just to point it out again, obviously I understand that you know the argument will be we'll play it on a lower level, and that's fine. That's what I didn't do the other day. And oh my god, what? It's the general manager. <laughs> the general manager is a <laughs> uh, is a. Minotaur, Minotaur, an ogre or something of some description. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so we've killed the general manager. Not the sort of thing you would normally do when you go into a to a um, a store or a bazaar, but that's exactly what we've done. Um, oh, where have we? No. 
What's going on here? Oh god, we've got a spellcaster. Now why is my... Um... See, sometimes your pet is like, why is my pet not attacking? Endless Fusillard is a skill that I picked up. Okay. So, um, I've got. So, with the optionals, um, what I should, what you, I think you should probably normally do, is, um, I didn't have a buffs up for that um, trap either. So that probably that may have helped me. Uh, what you should, I think, with the optionals, you need to do them first. I think is how it works. Um, I think if I if I, I think if I did the optionals now, I might get experience for it. But I think if you do the optionals before you complete the adventure, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think potentially you may get more experience for clearing the adventure. Um, yeah. So maybe I should have done that first. Oops. <laughs> yeah, that was a. That was a mistake. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that did though. That, um, my pet wants me to destroy furniture. He's a bit obsessed with destroying furniture. I'm not quite sure what that opened, that um, that thing. But I will explore a bit more. But we finished the quest anyway. Okay, and that's it. This has been a quest. Quite a good one actually. Quite a, uh, quite a, a big open area to explore. Really interesting. Um, it's a quest, quest chain as well, so I've got some other quests to work through that will carry on from this. Yeah, that's it, guys. I'm still immensely enjoying Dungeons & Dragons Online for all sorts of different reasons. Um, yeah, I'll be back again soon. Hello, guys. This is just the end of the video, the last part. Just as a, another quick tip that I'm sure you would have all worked out, you know, and that is that... Uh, you can you bind you can bind yourself in an inn at a spirit binder so things i keep forgetting to do is to buy myself a spirit binder in the area where i'm where i'm questing if you don't do that it means that you end up having to run to your keep keep it just just makes your your debt when you never never like i say when you never inevitably die uh, which i do maybe you won't uh, it just make, means you've got a longer run to get back to your adventure um yeah the other thing to do as well is to come and um, if you come and sit in the inn for a little bit, um, it will rest enough so that it resets all of your equipment charges um, and your actions. So yeah, just another little tip um, at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.